Hello and welcome to this activity. Today, you're going to be learning how to create your own personalized snow globe using the drawing tools in Adobe Express. Open up Adobe Express and in the Create menu, scroll down until you see the option Create a Drawing. Tap on the icon to start a new drawing project. And once it opens, select Brush from the menu on the left hand side. We're going to set up our brush to draw the outline of our snow globe. We're going to keep the brush as the hard round brush, we'll keep the colour as black, but we need to reduce the size all the way down to 10. To start your drawing, you're going to draw a large circle starting near the top of the canvas. Don't worry if your line is wobbly, if you hold your finger or stylus on the screen, Adobe Express will snap it to a perfect circle. The base of our snow globe needs to be a little flatter, so we're going to go to the eraser tool and use it to remove the bottom part of our circle. We can now go back to brush and draw in a flatter line for the base. Around the base of the snow globe, we're going to draw a large curved line and hold our finger on the screen until it snaps into a nice smooth shape. This is going to be the top of our snow globe holder. We now need to add in two diagonal lines to create the sides and join them at the bottom with another curved line. I want to make it look like my snow globe is sat on a table, so I'm going to draw a straight line on either side of my snow globe base. Now we have the outline for our snow globe, we can fill it with colour. Tap the Fill tool from the left hand menu, choose your colour and double tap in the area you want to fill. It's very important that you do not fill in the circle that creates your snow globe. If you have time, you might want to add some decorations to your base. I'm going to draw three snowmen and give them little top hats and some nice blue scarves. I need to remember to give them eyes, a carrot for a nose, and some shiny coal buttons. In between my snowmen, I'm going to draw some snowflakes by drawing three intersecting lines and adding some V-shapes on each arm. I'm also going to use the hard round brush set at 25 to add in some little white dots. Next, we're going to add an image inside our snow globe. You can use a photograph that you already have or a drawing that's saved on your iPad, or you might want to take a photograph. Select image from the menu on the left hand side, then click upload from device. Select the option photo library, if your photo is already saved on your iPad, and choose the image that you want to add in. Click the purple tick in the top right corner of the screen to add it. Your image will add behind your drawing. Drag the corners to resize it and use your finger to reposition it on the canvas. When you're happy with the size and position, you can use the opacity tool to slightly reduce the opacity and make it a little more transparent so it looks like your image is behind glass. Next, we're going to add some shadows and some highlights using the brush tool. Click the brush icon from the left hand menu and turn on colouring mode using the menu at the top of the screen. Select the soft round brush, make sure the colour is set to black, and you can use the custom settings to slightly reduce the opacity so you don't get such a harsh line. Increase your brush size, I'm going to put mine at 222, and then starting inside your snow globe, add some shadow along the bottom of the globe and up the left hand side. We're going to imagine the light is coming from the top right corner, so we can also add some shadow on the top of the holder, especially on the left hand side, and down that left hand edge of the holder. We're going to add some shadow around the base of the holder and extend that shadow across the table. We can use the same brush to add some highlights, change the colour to white, reduce the size, and draw an arc across the top of your globe. 
draw a thicker arc in the top right corner of your globe and extend it in either direction to make it look like the light is bouncing off a round surface. Finally, we need to add some snow to our globe. Go to the decorative brushes and scroll down until you see snowy mix. Check you're still in colouring mode, then use the brush to add some snow inside your globe. When you're happy with your project, you can rename it. Click the box in the top left corner of the screen and give your project a title. I'm going to call this one Snow Globe. Your image will save automatically in Adobe Express, but if you want to save a copy onto your iPad, click Download in the top right corner of the screen, change the file format to PNG, and then click Download again to save it to your camera roll. We hope you enjoyed trying this activity and that you now know how to create your own snow globe using the drawing tools in Adobe Express. Why not use your imagination and your creativity skills to create your own different snow globes with different bases and different images inside them? You could even turn them into Christmas cards to send to friends and family.